Yeah. Another one. All right, we here to get these tires done. Let's get it. Okay, so I left the battery connected. And it's been a couple of days. Let's see if she fires up. Lights are on, so yeah. We got action. You know what? I almost forgot. Let me check these tires again. I did not do that. That's good. This is good. Let me check this problem, child. Ah, problem child is good. And this one is good. All right, so we ready. Just like that, we're there. It's like movie magic. Oh, snap, look at the old 928. Ooh. What if I were to get one of them? I've been wanting one for a minute. The GTS model, though. That would be fly, huh? Yes, sir. Thank you. And there she goes. We'll be back to pick her up in about an hour. She's ready. Ready to ride. Baby, hey. now this car need a bath. We gonna get to that though. First, we got some new rubber, and these do really well in the summertime with the heat. Nice. And forgive me if there's a lot of wind noise. I need to give me a mic. Okay, so she's starting right up. Got new. Got new soles on the shoes. Woo. Yeah, we getting there. We getting there. So far, so good. She feels good. I don't know if you guys can tell from the type of tires that are on your car, but I can. These, these feel good, though. They, they cool for now, you know? I'm going to put some mileage on it, though, and then we're going to go smog it. All right, it's starting to rain, and I'm, I'm just running around, running errands in the car, you know, but uh, I'm about to go home and reset because I got to take Bosco to the doctor to get his shots. Anyway, that might be TMI. Anyway, we rolling. We just came back from the pet hospital. I had to take Fancy for her. Shots, rabies, Bordetello, all that stuff. Look at her. Look at this girl. She's so spoiled, I tell you. Anyhow, we are in the Maxima. So, as of the last video, you saw we got the tires changed. I just finished driving it after we got out of the dog hospital because of this one right here. The spoiled one. While we were out, I said, let me just take this for a ride and uh, put some miles on it. Because again, we just put the battery, we just connected the battery. And you know, after you know, you connect the battery, it clears all the codes and the smog machine picks up on that. So we don't want that. You got to drive it for a certain amount of miles. So I put on a good amount of miles, so much that we're on E, all right? And we was like a little below uh, half when we started so anyhow 
we should have essentially packed on enough miles so we're going to give it a shot and see if we will pass smog can anybody tell me what those are on the side of that jeep they almost look like motorcycle pegs it looks like maybe you pull them down and step on them so you can access the top of the truck i don't know hit me down in the comments if you know what those are so for those of you who are not familiar with Vegas, your smog centers don't always have to be a separate like entity. They can be in the parking lot of a gas station, like this one is in the Chevron. And this is the one I typically come to. So it's obvious we're here. Next up, yo, I believe that's me. All right, we passed. <laughs> yeah, K gonna be happy about this one. And you can actually pay for the registration here. I did not know that. So, we gotta get some gas up in this joint. How convenient is this? <laughs> Now all we gotta do is get it cleaned up now. Get a little tune up, oil change, and most of all, the detail. Cause this thing is filthy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boy, oh boy, look at this. Mm -mm -mm. Hit me down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this McLaren 600 LT. Good grief. My bad, that's not the 600, that's the 570S. 